Hello there, everyone. Welcome to New Heights Wrestling. My name is Jeannie Jem. On this episode, we will see the match that was set up just a little while ago as Scarface Waylon Barley takes on the Sith Knight Shane Gibson. Waylon had challenged any member of Cerisex Mortis earlier tonight, and Shane Gibson was the one to answer the call. These two men have engaged in a bitter feud, and this will be another chapter in this historic rivalry. First, we will hear from our sponsors, then we will go to Joe and Dave at ringside for this intense matchup. Hey fans, it's the man they call Dave with producer Joe, and you probably know us as the commentary team for New Heights Pro Wrestling, but when we're not doing that, we got a podcast. That is the Working Fans Podcast, where we talk pro wrestling, comedy, MMA, and so much more. And tell them about that signature segment. Oh, you talk about the 531? You know I am. That is a homegrown creation that has been our namesake. And if you want to know our namesake, we got Chevy, AJ Strange Brew, as well as the two of us. And why don't you go to our uh, channel, like, subscribe, show us some love. Rate, review, all of it. Hey there, everyone. My name is Jeannie Jem. And if you're enjoying what you're watching here at New Heights Wrestling, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. You can also find us on other forms of social media, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to share with your friends. Let them see all the exciting action that New Heights Wrestling has to offer. And then I want to hear from you. Put your comments down below. I want to know what you love about New Heights Wrestling. Thank you so much for checking out New Heights Wrestling. And remember to always stay sparkly. Check out the fast-paced action wrestling card game, Go Fight Pow! Create your own intergalactic fight club and play out the results of your own wrestling company, featuring over 100 unique characters and some of wrestling's hottest stars of past and present. The possibilities are endless. Visit gofightpow.fws.store and become a promoter today. Step up to the table and join us as New Heights Wrestling presents Aces High, Catch all your New Heights Wrestling favorites on August 10th. It's going down at the Walton County Fairgrounds in Defuniac Springs, Florida. Message New Heights Wrestling Tickets at gmail.com and get your tickets today. Tickets are general admission $8, front row is $15, kids 6 to 11 are $6, and kids 5 and under are free. That was a word from our great sponsors. And now back to Ringside for our next match. Big match here with Shane Gibson and Waylon Barley. We saw it made in a previous episode after Princess Josh had won that championship. What a grudge match we're going to have here. It's the man called Dave. It's producer Joe from the Working Fans Podcast. And Joe, I'm excited to call this one because these two have a tendency to get very physical and very nasty. The Rodney J. Evans building is about to get one heck of a match. One heck of a fall. Yeah. One well, I'd like to believe this is going to be a match, but feelings have broken down so much between the oppressive fist of justice, Shane Gibson, Princess Josh, and Waylon Barley. For a while, we've heard Princess Josh calling Waylon Barley a bully. Wearing that new championship belt to the ring there. I don't think Waylon Barley is a bully. Might be one in this match. We we've seen his emotions overcome him at times, but yeah. both Josh and Gibson and all of Cerise oh. Mortis have seen. Look at that, Greg Xavier there. Josh made it a point. Back yeah. All of Cerise X Mortis is present. I know. And it was really the feud between Princess Josh and William Barley. We've gone over it before. Barley putting Josh into that casket. That Josh started getting into the mind of Shane Gibson, recruited him into Cerise X Mortis, and has made possibly the most dangerous version of Cerise that we have seen yet. Yeah. Well, they got a lot of gold right now. You got the Anytime Anywhere Championship, you got the Pride Championship. And that was a newly designed Anytime Anywhere Championship. Oh, yeah. Josh definitely seems to have 
another level of arrogance right now. Yes, and Will and Barley just wants to shut this down. This is, it's already put a feeling over the crowd seeing Cerise get another piece of gold into their control. And look at the big man making his way out here, ready to handle business. Love that Rob Zombie shirt. Like, yeah, this is a this is a man's man right here. And this is a man that lives and breathes New Heights wrestling. The fans love him. His blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this company. And, and he doesn't want to let Cerise X Mortis get that much more of a foothold within his company. So see Shane Gibson take the powder out here. And these are two former friends that are now bitter enemies. And anytime they step into the ring, it is a display of violence like no other. This is Josh really giving the crowd talking to him. And it's interesting to see Dre Xavier a little more in the background, letting. Princess Josh accompanied Gibson. You out. wonder if Drake will play a part in this match. He seems to be far away at his merch table there. I wouldn't put it past I him, but. He never put it past anything. He's, he's individuals do. Individuals. Especially after sealing that championship early in the night. Gibson making his way in there, and you're seeing the fire in his eyes. Ref calling for the bell. This grudge match is about to start. Gibson, and it's I would say these two know each other so well that Gibson's definitely the enforcer, here, right? For three sex more. Oh yeah. yeah. Not so. to take anything away from Drake, but this is the oppressive fist of justice yes. using those hands. Yes. Oh, Harley, that careful. is not a hand I would want to get hit by. Oh, right on the apron there. Very careful. Oh, oh. shopping him up against the pole. And oh. another one. The crowd loves it. Oh. oh, pulling up his shirt and getting that skin to skin contact. That hurts so much more that way. Oh, he is uh, taking Shane Gibson all around the Rodney J. Evans building. Yes, oh! Kelly Clark, get out of the way, Kelly. Be careful. <laughs> I don't think Gibson feels very welcome at this moment. You know, you can see Princess Josh retreating there. Oh! oh. There's that big right hand by Gibson. He got distracted by the glasses there for a minute, and Shane Gibson uses that chance to throw a big right, slamming the big man on a table. Oh, I have a feeling this Look fight out. is gonna go all around the building here. Could we go outside even oh, with oh, this? Barley's got him now. <laughs> I don't know, we were close there. He saw it was headed and wanted to get this thing back in the ring. Gibson putting uh, Barley's spine right up against that post. Now throwing some chops himself. Oh. Look at Barley. He seems to just be eating these chops here. You can see they're hurting him, but he's not falling, wanting to get his hands on Princess Josh. Okay, this is a very physical style right here when Gibson and Barley get in that ring. They lay into each other. If you like physical, you up wrestling, these guys are gonna play. And sometimes the biggest fights in the ring can come from the people that were once the closest of friends. <laughs> but these guys have been a float. Cerise X Mortis has been a thorn in Barley's side for so long. He just wants to be done with it. But Princess Josh, Shane Gibson, and Drake Xavier are not oh. letting up. Probably with a big right hand in the back of the head. I don't think Gibson even saw that coming. Fighting the way into the crowd. This is this could get dangerous. Oh, throws the masks and oh yeah, he's that man face. Here. Any little distraction, any little thing they can do to get that advantage, 
And now slamming his head into the post here. Oh, big kick to Barley there. Barley almost fell into the people. Jumping front kick. Gibson taking it out of the fans here. Gibson and Barley into the ring. Well, he knows that you can fight all over the building, but you can only get a win in the ring. Kick to the big man there. Again. We get some yelling. Just the viciousness that he's throwing those kicks with. The barley. Get fired he up. He wants more. Gibson powering up Whoa. even worse. Barley catches it. Oh no. Throws oh. him to the ground, gets to his feet here. What you strength. can see he's feeling it in his chest, but he is still powering through, still getting up. What power to throw him down while he was still on the ground. Stanley Gibson up, pushing him into the corner here. Big chop. Oh, the crowd wants another one. Riley has other plans. Big suplex into the middle of the ring. Turn this match around. Barley is walking tall, looking strong here. Josh is getting upset. Barley. Barley just firing him up even more. Picking Shane Gibson up by the throat here. This is personal. Go behind here. We gonna... Germans. Oh, Gibson. Shane Gibson knows yeah. what's coming, so he's yeah. preventing it with those back elbows. Oh. Throws him in a big suplex. Look at the eyes were glazed over on Gibson. Even though Gibson knew what was coming, he could not stop it. Barley had to find another way, and now he's crawling over. Uh, pulling Gibson up to his knees, talking to him the whole time that he's standing him up here, letting him know what he is in for. Look at this Gibson. Barley taunting Gibson here. Uh -huh. But Gibson right has hand. taken so much damage, though. Those those rights aren't landing like they were earlier. Right. Oh, he fires off. Gibson fires back. Barley. Gibson is almost out on his feet here. Gibson fires back, though. He's looking wobbly here. Big headbutt from the big man. You got to feel like he feels like victory is within his grasp. Fires Gibson into the ropes. Oh, there's back sidewalk Big slam. sidewalk slam. One, two, three. What? Look at that, Josh in the ring. Wait, here come the, the, the pumpkins? Yeah, we got a pumpkin out here. Trying to neutralize Princess Josh. They saw what was going on. And one of the pumpkins has chased Princess Josh to the back. There comes Drake Xavier now. Drake going Xavier to back going too. to save the princess. Now Shane Gibson is all on his own in the it's, middle of the ring. It's one on one. Black Fire hole in the ring. Another one. One, two, three. Oh. Waylon Barley gets the win in Florala, Alabama. Shane Gibson. Alan Barley walking tall over his rival tonight. Shane gave it a good effort, but once the princess was out of the equation, could not bring home that win. Right. And then Drake Xavier went after the princess, so Drake Xavier was out of the equation as well. I think Alan Barley put his stomp, his stamp tonight on this uh, rivalry. Maybe. maybe. Uh, he put a stomp on him too, <laughs> but the crowd is going to be stomping the floor in approval. That was a great match. You can see they're happy about it. And if you want to be happy, catch up with everything you like. Chris, when you go to check any of these bro, follow me on Chris on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But most importantly, thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody.